Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at transistors, so let's get started. So what is a transistor first of all? Well, it says here that a transistor is a semiconductor device that can be used as an electronic switch, so it's important to remember that it's a switch. And how does it work as a switch? Well, it's not actually got any physical parts to turn on or off, but the way in which you can turn a transistor on and off is to apply a voltage across it. So it says here they are used to switch different devices on or off when their voltage increases above or below a certain value. And where do you find transistors? Well, you'll have billions of transistors inside your mobile phone, inside any tablets, laptops and computers and so on. And what are they used for? Well, we're saying that they're used as switches, but you'll find all of these tiny transistors inside microchips, and these are used to contribute to things like processing power and for amplifying signals. Now, there's a common trend with transistors because every year they're being made smaller and smaller, and there's something called Moore's Law, which states that every two years, it's thought that the number of transistors that you can fit on any microchip will double. However, there's likely to be a limit to the number of transistors that we can actually fit onto any microchip, and this is because we'll start to get problems with overheating of devices. Now there are two types of transistors that you need to know about and these are the NPN transistor and the MOSFET which stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. Now notice how we don't say MOSFET transistor because transistor is in the name so that would essentially be like saying transistor transistor which doesn't really make sense. Now the NPN and the NPN transistor stands for N-type, P-type and N-type and these are the types of semiconductor materials sandwiched together to form this transistor. So what do these transistors look like? Well here's the NPN transistor which consists of a base, collector and emitter. And you'll notice we've got this sort of thick line here with some more lines and an arrow pointing away from the transistor there. It then says that an NPN transistor will switch on when the voltage across it reaches 0.7 volts. That's what we call it switch on voltage. So if the voltage across the NPN transistor is less than 0.7 volts, it will be switched off. And if it's greater, it will be switched on. Next, we have the MOSFET, which again has three parts, but there are three different parts called the gate, drain and source. And you'll notice this time we've got a different shape with an arrow pointing in towards the transistor here. And it says that a MOSFET transistor will switch on when the voltage across it reaches around 2.0 volts. Now, it might not be exactly 2 volts. You might be given a question where it's around 1.8 volts or 2.2 volts, for example, but you would just use whatever is in the question. Now, if you were presented with circuit symbols for both of these transistors and asked to decide which one is which, then a good way to distinguish between them, as it says down here, is to think of the NPN transistor as having an arrow which is not pointing in towards it. Because notice that the MOSFET does have an arrow pointing towards it, but the NPN transistor has an arrow that is pointing away from the transistor. So this has an arrow that is not pointing in for the NPN transistor, and this one is pointing in the way. So that might be a useful way to try and remember which one is which. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.